Hello, um, I have been requested to make a video that shows you how to set up an Xbox controller with the Dolphin GameCube and Wii emulator. Um, and that's what I'm going to do today. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for my English, it sounds. I'm Norwegian and, well, Norwegian accent sounds like blah. So, yeah, whatever. Um, this is my desktop in case you're wondering. Yeah, it's really cool. Cool. <coughs> so, um, yes, so the first thing you want to do, and it, <laughs> it should be pretty obvious, um, you want to make sure that your Xbox 360 controller is plugged in. Um, if you're using a wireless Xbox 360 controller, um, you'll want to have a receiver, some sort of receiver, Microsoft receiver. Um, I don't know much about that because, well, I use a wired controller because those are the simplest to set up and uh, the wire doesn't really bother me that much so uh, yeah um, so uh, if we, um, we let's just open Dolphin here uh, let's see if I can find it um, let's see if I can find it, there we go Dolphin Dolphin.exe okay so um yes I should also say tell you that in this tutorial I will only cover the uh, I will only cover the GameCube controller setup um and that will also work with Wii games that are compatible with the GameCube controller and these games include Super Smash Bros Brawl um and the remake of GoldenEye among some others um but Brawl is by far the most popular one of these games, I think. So, um, what you want to do is you want to go to, to Options, GameCube Pad Settings, and um, yes, here we are. These little tabs represent the controller parts, so there are four of them, just like there are on the GameCube. Um, so the first thing you want to do... Oh shit, bro. Bro! Nee. Hold on, hold on. Don't panic. I'll fix this. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay, yes. Where were we? Yes. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the device part here. And you want to click on this little drop down list. And see if you find something called Gamepad or Xbox 360 Gamepad or something similar. Or controller or whatever. What the hell? <sighs> sick. What the hell is happening here? Never use... it usually doesn't do that. Maybe I should try running it as an administrator. Let's try this again. So, yeah, if you f if you don't find it, then it might... then it might be because your controller isn't plugged in, or it might be because your driver isn't set up properly or isn't installed. Um, on Windows XP, I know that if you plug in an Xbox 360 controller, you'll have to manually uh, ins download and install a driver for it. Um, on Windows 7, however, it should automatically detect the controller. Um, but what you can do on Windows 7 or Windows Vista is just go click on the start button and just type in Xbox yeah, Xbox 360 and um, if Microsoft Xbox 360 accessories status shows up, then you have the driver. What you can also do to check is go to the start or the search box and then click on device, type in, sorry, device manager. You want to click on it. And then somewhere in this list you should be able to find the Xbox 360 controller. Here we go, Microsoft Common Controller for Windows class and then underneath we have the Xbox 360 controller for Windows. If you find it, it is already installed. Um, so, uh, But if you can't find it still, even if you have the driver and you can't find it on the drop-down list, what you can do is you can double click on the driver here and then, sorry, <coughs> and then click on uninstall and then go to the internet and install it manually. 
and then you can maybe restart the control no re reboot the computer if you wish so um, yes that's that over here we have all the buttons you can set up there's a lot of them I should go I shall go through them all so um, what we can do here is we can go open up a, an internet browser just just to make this easier I'm just gonna go to Google Images and I'm going to search for GameCube controller let's just click on one of these images here there we go Hold on. there we go so um, the A button right here represents the big A button here <laughs> So, um, what I like to do, maybe we should just open up another page. Oh, Jesus, it's hard. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you my recommended setup. Um, I know, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm just going to. make this smaller and let's make this other one smaller as well just so yeah so uh, there we go so the A button on here is the big A button on the GameCube controller right here and what I like to set that as is just the default standard A button on the GameCube or oh, the Xbox controller. The B button I like to put as X. You know, because yeah, it's sort of the same side, you know. And Y and X I like to put as Y and B on the Xbox 360 controller. Now L and R is just the right left trigger and right trigger. And the Z button is just the right button on the game on the Xbox controller. <laughs> Uh, the D-pad is just the regular D-pad. Right stick, left stick, just the same. Start is the same. You know, everything's the same. Um, yeah, because the GameCube controller and the Xbox controller are pretty similar, so setting them up to um, make it feel like the real thing almost isn't too difficult. Um, so and th this set this shouldn't be that difficult to set up if you're already familiar with a GameCube controller, uh, you know if you've already played a GameCube. If you haven't though, you could probably just look up an image or something, and then compare the two. Just remember that on the right side we have both a right shoulder button and a Z button, which is the right button on the GameCube con Xbox controller. <laughs> Yeah, you can also set the rumble if you want. Motor L, motor R. That's a nice little touch. Um, what else? The dead zone on the main stick and the C st stick um, tells you, well, the dead zone. In, in case you're not familiar with the term, it basically means the zone in which the, how should I put it, the software won't respond to your movements. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I don't know. Um, yeah. You know, if your if your um, this little square here represents your um, thumbstick, you know its movements, and if it's within that dead zone, it will not respond. Yeah. Uh, you know you'll figure it out. Square stick. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so yeah, threshold. No idea. I mean, yeah. It it's not that difficult um, to set up really you just have to make sure that your controller shows up in the device list and um, the Wii controller setting up an Xbox controller for the Wii part of the emulator is very very difficult due to the motion controls of the Wii so um, yeah it gets really awkward to play and um, so when I play this emulator I only play games like Brawl that doesn't really require any motion so yeah that was it I suppose um, thank you for watching <laughs> I know I'm really bad at these tutorial things but 
you know. Nah. I did my best. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, yeah, bye bye.